and get your kiss on. What's up, my quesadillas? I'm sick right now, so I'm gonna go buy some medicine. It sucks because I had a lot of plans this weekend. It's Saturday now. I had stuff going on Friday and today, but I had to cancel on all of it because I can't. I just kind of feel like... I'm just not feeling my Kanye best right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go buy some medicine, buy some groceries for my grandparents, and probably eat some ramen, because ramen helps everything. So yesterday, I was gonna hang out with my friend from Japanese school. I talked about her in a video before. Mario Kart Girl. If you watched the video, you know what I'm talking about. I was gonna hang out with her, but I don't know, I was just too sick. And then today, I was gonna hang out with my friend Soichiro. You probably know him from previous vlogs. But yeah, I was gonna go hang out with him and another friend from Japanese school. I was also gonna go to a high school festival that a Japanese quesadilla invited me to. But yeah, yeah, I had to just cancel on everything, so that sucks. Tomorrow there's a shrine festival that another quesadilla invited me to. I at least want to go to that, so I got something to vlog. So yeah, that's why I'm buying medicine right now, so hopefully I can get better soon. Alright, so I ate some ramen. It was really good. Bought some kusuri. And yeah, probably not going to vlog anything else today, but uh, hopefully I'm better tomorrow and I can vlog the festival. Trapping at the back street. Running through the patch like a trap me. Zoom. Alright, what's up my quesadillas? I'm in Sasazuka right now. Long story short, my mom wants me to go to school here and study film so I can like get better with videos and stuff, I guess. It's just her Japanese side coming out saying, hey, you gotta go to school. So yeah, she told me to go check out some colleges. She also told me to go to the city hall and get some sort of like certificate. I don't really know. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I've never been to Sasazuka. Sasazuka. I've never been to Sasazuka. I don't even know. I've never been here before, but it's kind of a cool town. I had no idea what I was doing for a fat minute. I had to fill out this form, but it was all in kanji, which is just really confusing. I had no idea what I was doing, and so these two Japanese ladies were helping me. I have a natural ability to get women to help me with things. I guess I look like a lost puppy or something. So yeah, I got some help. Turned in the form. Now I'm waiting. They got some books over there, so I'm gonna read some old Japanese classics. This is one of Japan's most popular superheroes. Basically, he could fly, and his face is bread with, like, sweet stuff in it. It's called Uncle. Basically his head is bread and people can like eat his face. Yeah, it's weird, but okay. And this is Bikimon. That's the bad guy. Bikimon translates to germ man or like bacteria man. These two are like the equivalent to Alfred to Bruce Wayne. They're the ones at home helping Ampaman out. They're bakers though, so they just like bake him a new face whenever whenever it's eaten. Ampaman Tanjo. Ampaman's birth. I could read this, but I'm gonna just show you the pictures. Okay, so boom. House. These are bakers. They're making bread. That's the Uncle, shooting stars, shooting stars falls in the chimney, boom, falls into the chimney, into the bread they're baking, and boom, Ampaman is born. Meanwhile, in Bikimon's crib, Bikimon is born. Oh shit, this dude fell off a cliff. Oh shit, Ampaman fell off a cliff. Oh shit, Ampaman just flew him back up. Ampaman saved him. This bitch crying. So now we see Ampaman's powers coming in handy. He feeds the dog his head and the bakers just made him a new face. Yeah, so everyone's happy. It's his birthday. Bikimon is pressed. Bikimon just eats this dude's tempura and rice. Bikimon just takes a fat shit on Ampama. The tempura rice bowl guy got his head back. Ampama saved the day. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, Bikimon's eating some tempura and rice in this big bowl. And Bikimon's like back the f off. Ampaman just wrecks his shit and the rice is saved. Nice. There you go. End of the story. Kind of want to read more. Good thing we got another Ampaman. Alright, this one's Ampaman to Baikiman. By the way, there's more characters in this too. There's Ampaman, there's Shokpaman, Karepaman, Baikiman Laboratory. Baikiman gets violated in the butthole. Ampaman notices something. Everyone's depressed for some reason. Oh sh There's a bunch of germs and bacteria coming through the chimney. Ampaman flies over to Baikiman like, what the f*** is going on? Baikiman ain't having this sh and Ampaman just gets clapped. Ampaman Ampaman got some STDs and these bunnies riding unicycles are like, what the f***? The bunnies help Ampaman. They tie the unicycles together to make a bicycle and Ampaman straight up leaves them stranded, I guess. Ampaman needs to save the day. The bakers make a big ass head for Ampaman. Ampaman goes back out looking for Baikiman. Baikiman tries clapping Ampaman again, but he's got a big ass head, so it just reflects back onto Baikiman. Baikiman just gets f***. Wasted and yeah, Ampaman's head saved the day. The bunnies are happy, the bakers are happy, the dogs happy, everyone's happy. That was a good ass story. Uh, Alright, so I'm out of the city hall. Now I'm gonna eat at Saizeria. So I just ordered some pizza. I always feel dumb when I'm talking to Japanese people. Like, I'm following what they're saying most of the time, and then they just throw in some random ass word that I have no idea what it means. And you can obviously see it on my face because I'm like, so yeah, that's what was going on at the city hall most of the time, especially because it's the city hall. Lots of confusing Japanese words. It's alright though, we're done with that. I got the papers I needed. This table's so weird though because it's like one person, and then it's just like a two person bench. And so whoever's sitting here is just facing 
single wall. The pizza just came. It's a pretty small pizza. Or maybe I just got a big hand. I don't know. I've been told I got big hands. Oh yeah, by the way, the sickness pretty much went away. This is probably going to be the last day I feel any sort of sickness. Definitely be gone tomorrow. But since I've been sick, I haven't been like carrying a shave. This is definitely the longest I've let my facial hair grow out. But the more I have facial hair, the more I like it. I feel like a manly man. This sink has a warm and cold button that's so late. All right, so I just bought some KFC. Grandparents are feasting. What is she? What is she? What is she? All right, what's up my quesadillas? Just went to Starbucks real quick. Do you guys remember this area from the first vlog? You guys remember this? I think it was like the normal day in Japan video. Yeah, I'm at that area. This is the town I live in. I just got some coffee, uploaded a video. Now I think I'm gonna go eat some burgers. There's a little hallway and then here there's like, it's just a whole little area with coffee stores, clothing stores. It's like a little shopping area. A lot of markets and stuff like that. Right here's a big store. Oh. There's an old woman. And if you walk down this way, there's Shimachu, which is like a huge department store, just outlet store, just everything. But yeah, this is Fresh Burger. I usually go here. They can juicy, just like my girl's booty. So I haven't really been doing much the past couple of days. Vlogs have been kind of boring, huh? Sorry about that. I realized in order for me to make entertaining videos, basically do my job is to have fun. That's my job. I just gotta go have fun and vlog it. So if I wanna make money, I gotta go have fun and spend money. It's an interesting thing huh mm -hmm. a couple things i wanted to talk about though first of all a quesadilla just sent me this shirt it's a brand shirt it's not even like fan mail they just straight up bought me something and it's a dope shirt so thank you i got sugar mamas no but seriously though i was in my discord server right if you want to join the discord server you gotta click join next to the subscribe button you also get a cute little face next to your name in my comment section thank you for everyone that joined by the way but there was two girls in the server that said they swiped their v cards at 12 and 13 what the what? This got me thinking, my sister is 14. I'm not talking about May. I have another younger sister. She just got into high school, and I still think of her as a little girl. Like, I can't even think... I don't even know. Girls be hoeing out early nowadays. It's sad. But yeah, like, she's going into high school now. And I know high school. I know how these fuckboys be. I know how these hoes be. And hoes encourage other girls to be hoes. I'm not ready for this. Oh, man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is crazy. I don't, I, I mean, shoot. I just, yo, man. Damn. It's just crazy. I can't handle this. You know what I blame? Instagram. Instagram is it. Because before Instagram was popular, it was mainly Facebook. Whoever's my age or older, you know, MySpace, Facebook. That's what was popping. And with that, it was just more like friends. It was like a friendly thing where people post just like, hey, who's trying to go out to eat tonight or like friend stuff. No one posts mirror pics with half their ass hanging out on Facebook. That started on Instagram. And then as Instagram got traction, followers started becoming important. Before, if you wanted clout or have some sort of fame, YouTube was the way. You got to do YouTube. YouTube. You gotta actually put in some effort, probably have some talent, make some videos. Now anyone can do it on Instagram. And then it just got all these girls wanting attention, wanting the followers, wanting all sorts of things. And they use their body for that. They use their looks for that at such young ages. Like you still got a childhood left. Like make the most of it. You don't have to rush into the whole life yet. Most girls do that in college. You don't gotta do that in middle school. Oh my God. So that being said, shout out to my good girls out there. Shout out to all my good boys out there keeping it somewhat classy oh yeah one other thing i've been seeing a type of comment a lot oh shit uh all right so i just made dinner i chefed up something real good today maybe i'll show you guys the complex recipe someday but i wanted to address something that i've been seeing in the comments lately so apparently people think i talk black people think i grew up in brooklyn or something i don't really care about that comment specifically but then i see some people saying stop trying to act black i don't even know what you're saying i'm not trying to act black if i was trying to act black i would just uh i would be eating watermelon every video i don't act black sometimes i eat fried chicken but no watermelon no grape juice i don't know where you guys are getting this from you guys are crazy i don't really know where the way i talk comes from i'm a military child i moved every two years i lived 
all around the world, all sorts of places in America. I lived on the West Coast, Colorado, Japan, Germany, been around proper Japanese people, military children, stoners, or chill beach town folk most of my life. So the way I talk is just a mix of everything. So yeah, I don't really know where you guys are coming from with I'm acting black or I talk black. Maybe you live in like Alabama or something and you just talk really white. Maybe that's what's going on here. I don't know. You guys are crazy, man. But yeah, I just want to clarify. I'm not trying to act black. I mean, I like watermelon. I do like fried chicken. But then again, who doesn't? You're crazy is basically what I'm trying to say. All right, what's up? So a quesadilla asked me to hang out in Ikebukuro, which is a place I've never been to. So I was going to go. And then she said she was 16. My fellas know what I'm talking about. You know how right when you hit 18, it just becomes weird talking to a girl under 18. And girls be looking like 18 by the time they're 13 nowadays. A lot of jail bait out here. 17 don't matter. But 16, you kind of see them as like a little kid. And you're an adult. You kind of feel like a pedophile. I'm a YouTuber though. I can't be getting into no scandals. I gotta stay clean. Stay away from the jail bait. Like not that I was thinking of doing anything with this female. But... Shall we?